This program is brought to you by First National Bank of Botswana. FNB, how can we help you? When running a business means... Where did I put that receipt? We can help you with instant accounting, free software that does your bookkeeping for you. <laughs> when running a business means... Wait, why do you mean the container hasn't arrived? We help protect your business from risk with Mohwebi Insurance. And when it means... How do we pay our staff that don't have bank accounts? We help you make multiple payments directly to people's phones with e-wallet bulk send. At FNB, we're constantly innovating to help business owners at every stage of their journey. Rawamalamafirstishu ke <laughs> Small boy matoso wa small boy driving school. Wana abo na kule matwane di kora ite ba kanya le kutuisa baba saleng ba lule le koko mudi moe. Small boy ota ma abotano o te aruta di kuma na zaba toko talo kanya me pele long ba pase yana tatu wa matwao. Renarata la small boy ko nenga tsaretse ngwe ya dithuto tsa gagwe teng mo ga boroni. Kwa nenga bolela la first issues gore sente sente bo thata bo hakae. E bile sa la simon la dithuto tse di thusitse ba ba ditsenelelang jang. I was inspired by the fact that many people ba fe ile mona hatsela rona. And all the questions that they said to and they are failing to understand the book. And I noticed that in Zigur Tadi Salasani, since 2008 from Kasani, it like a Ruta Ruta or Mibuka is straightforward, but they tend to go against Zibuka Isibuang and focus more on the But why do from the register again alone is all ages starting from 18 years up to 65 67 68 years mm -hmm. bartender class a problem waiting on all the age groups but i'm happy because bunzi go attend banana ba holo ba wela o ithaba le 2 3 4 ele bona ba leng over 50 years more class bona ba leng gore ngwa ba thusa pharologanyo e leng teng ke eng pharologanyo e teng because we have created a Facebook group, ABD mm Amatwa -hmm. Wazel, I really created like 2017. And uh, from there, in the group, I Then I we created there, by then the, we are around 100 or 200. Within a year, we had over 100 followers, 100,000. But now we have got up to 250,000 followers. <laughs> Sentence. But that is as people. We tend to rush our lessons without knowledge. We have been seated for all our lives. Now, we tend to to over the over the license as soon as yesterday. But now, the steps are now changed. They already study the book, learn the book, 
e thutetsela we o tsa dikhoni we go atseleng before ka car license but ha ka mentally tswa gore ha tswa ha ka moso wa pasa friday o tshwere license but no it is not like that it's a process go to driving school um but ba ruta mbatho gone go khetsa ya lo go tsana motleng go ira dikhoni ke batho ba ile gore ba ruta tse tiro ya bona bana le dikhwalification lona le le ha mo small boy um driving school the qualification tsena nna le tsona go ka rutuntsa batho yone bukane ya mathawe le tsa gape tsena hore le batho tsaka tsona ke dihing i went to school go a go ithutela go ruta ba golo e ba qualification i'm a qualified trainer and assessor it's in school with ctv e part time one and a half years ya currently le bqa as a trainer and assessor but on not on the field ya drive but on the field ya construction engineering i'm a qualified lecturer but with the knowledge ek is rang go sekolo it is easy for me to take this information e mo bukeng ke be ke emela botsa di jo ke na le jone for them to understand gore go buwa ka gae and that has shown in perekela kana e ba berekela because many of them ba pasa ba tlhalogane like now we tell looking at khanya go araba melao kana go follow a melao i managed to register school go register a school hela sente ka molao then they became bit a small boys driving school na personally ke beke accredited as a trainer a whole trainer ba trainer but for me to go go eda a driver trainer ke sente ke le mo processing ke ne ke tso mo school mo maloba ya go instructors then that's when ke le mo processing go mpeni go accredited a school or a school is fully accredited. That's when you can go to the office, you can go to the classroom, you can go to the office, you can go to the office, you can go to the office, you can focus on the office. That's why you can do it part-time every weekend. Yes, okay. You can do it part-time every weekend. 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 Because you can do it part-time every weekend. You can do it part-time Places are covering. Already, I've been in Mau more than four, five, six times mm -hmm. since last year. I've been to Hanzi, I've been to Francis Town, Palapes, Royal Takane, Lobatse, Good Hope, Kanye. <laughs> All these areas I have covered mm -hmm. through the page, the group on Facebook, because that's where I communicate mm -hmm. with my customers. Or weekend, I a Saturday or a Sunday, get up to the local and I never disappoint. Mm -hmm. Even if they can disappoint by not attending, I never give up. Um, When running a business means... Where did I put that receipt? We can help you with instant accounting. Free software that does your bookkeeping for you. <laughs> when running a business means... Wait, why do you mean the container hasn't arrived? We help protect your business from risk with Mohwebi Insurance. And when it means... How do we pay our staff that don't have bank accounts? We help you make multiple payments directly to people's phones with e-wallet bulk send. At FNB, we're constantly innovating to help business owners at every stage of their journey. The new arena for business and inclusion of women in money matters is being built from recycled shards of the glass ceiling, broken by the same women who were frustrated by being left behind. This new space is a welcome development for women entrepreneurs where collaboration, consensus and diversity rule. A report prepared by Mentoring Services Score Association in the United States of America states that women-owned enterprises increased 45% in 2018. This can be attributed to opportunity meeting a long-standing necessity. Women surveyed by Score for the 2018 report mention four major motivations having the experience to start a successful enterprise, financial readiness, following a passion and desiring flexibility in their lives. 
The same can be said for the Muzwana woman, where female entrepreneurs lead from feminine strengths like effective networking, empathy, and an inclusive, holistic mindset to grapple with issues as universal as the future of Earth and as personal as the day-to-day -day challenges of being a woman. It is on this background that Mosadi Tota partnered with First National Bank Botswana to bring to life an initiative aimed at exposing women in business and women in general to a better way of dealing with money, all the while creating the opportunity for women collaborative enterprises. First National Bank Botswana Chief Operations Officer Matiri Sokeretelezi said the Women and Finance Workshop is a concept crafted to encourage networking and teamwork amongst women. She also speaks to us about the importance of being financially sound and where financial inclusivity lacks for women and how that gap can be bridged. First of all, it is a youth company, which is a, a one of the areas where we are interested to work in as f &B to add value to our youth. To the Mosadi Tata workshop itself, uh, there was, it was an opportunity for us to be able to meet this youth and educate them around the financials, which is very, very important. Uh, the next thing is also the fact that the, 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 the youth uh, resonates very well with our strategy because we, the majority of the population, as you are aware, uh, within the country, the demographics almost everywhere, even in our company in FNB, is mostly youth. So we are targeting those customers so that we uh, can educate them and add value. First is very concerning to find a lot of uh, small businesses which are mostly run by women and the youth failing to get through, especially in the first few years. So it's important <coughs> that people understand the building blocks. Mm -hmm. If you recall uh, the topics that we covered where I have the key, mm -hmm. like you should be very, very self-sustained to be able to uh, do the business on your own and be able to have the confidence that you need mm -hmm. because you understand what is required. The second one was around uh, making sure that people understand the basics of finance, of mm -hmm. budgeting, and running your, your finances. Mm -hmm. The third one is, was more around a uh, purpose living, where we talked about how do you spend your time, how do you spend your, your days. Mm -hmm. So collectively, the whole workshop gave uh, the youth the ammunition to be able to understand and value finance and be able to make decisions using finance. As a woman in finance, Namatiri, so do you think financial inclusivity is adequately addressed for women? We are not there yet, but there's a lot of uh, programs both in the private sector and the, the government where there are a lot of initiatives tailored towards making sure that uh, women are included. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll find that uh, programs come through to say women should be running certain businesses. What is lacking is the financial literacy. Yes. So I think it cannot be enough. Mm -hmm. We have to continue doing it over and over and over until they fully understand it. What is making the uptake of it be so little? Because like you say, there's enough information and enough programs and there's enough going on around, but the uptake of it is not there. What is lacking? I think it's a matter of just uh, creating access and awareness so as you know, I think most of the, 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 the women out there, they have other commitments already. But I think if you look at from the business opportunities, uh, is the fact that I see a lot of women coming up these days in terms of making sure that they understand. So I'm not worried about the uptake, like I'm seeing that we are not there, but there's a lot happening. Yes. So a lot of people have actually woken up to see that there's a need to go through this program. When running a business means... Where did I put that receipt? We can help you with instant accounting. Free software that does your bookkeeping for you. <laughs> when running a business means... Wait, why do you mean the container hasn't arrived? We help protect your business from risk with Mukwebi Insurance. And when it means... How do we pay our staff that don't have bank accounts? We help you make multiple payments directly to people's phones with e-wallet bulk send. 
At FNB, we're constantly innovating to help business owners at every stage of their journey. The shade tree, with its irregular gnarled branches and dark, deeply furrowed trunk, may look like an ordinary tree. But this scraggly savanna tree produces a fleshy green fruit that contains a very exceptional nut. The shea nut is a major source of income for 900,000 women in northern Ghana. This is the first step where we are going to the bush to pick out the shea nut. So they are removing the shea to reduce the heavy load current to the house. On tonight's episode, we profile another young entrepreneur who's making a mark in the beauty self-care industry. Our guest is Budueza Tebabe, a partner with beauty product manufacturer Nubian Seed. Nubian Seeds tracks back to 2014 when it started with just two products, but it was finally registered as a business in 2016. Budueza speaks of her business as an expression of passion that later turned into an income generating stream. Tureza says inspired by their travels to other parts of Africa where such raw materials as shea butter from the nuts of the shea tree are abundant and sold at next to nothing and so they thought to make the same available in Botswana for others to enjoy and reap the benefits. The business started quite small with the products only sold at night markets. Since the product sales were met with much enthusiasm from consumers with more people buying Pureza says they had to make a decision to move Nubian Seed from being a cottage backyard small hobby to an actual business to help generate sizable income. Pureza is not alone at Nubian Seed. The enterprise is a partnership between her and her sister Horata, with whom she started the beauty product business after realizing a gap in the local market for natural self-care products. They also source harvested African plants such as plantain, cocoa pots, palm tree leaves and shea tree bark, which they use for the production of the African black soap. The ingredients are sun-dried and roasted, which is how it gets its deep colour. Water and oils such as coconut, palm and shea butter are then added. They currently source most of these materials from Ghana, where they have established a network with a local supplier from one of the times they had travelled to the Western African country. Nubian seed products are considered green, an industry that is yet to be fully explored even internationally. This gives the witty managing partner hope that Nubian seed will stay on the trajectory of growth with the overall green business boom. You may be wondering what green products are, if not thinking they are merely the colour green. While in modern marketing, the word green has become synonymous with organic or healthy. With respect to the cosmetic industry, green and sustainable cosmetics are defined as cosmetic products using natural ingredients produced from renewable raw materials. These are thought to be far much less toxic to both the users and the environment. We're a growing company, you know, burgeoning, so to speak, in the very space that um, you speak of as a developing industry in Botswana being manufacturing. More so uh, green beauty cosmetic manufacturers. It's an even more niche market or more niche within the manufacturing industry. So, you know, in our progression as a growing business, um, we are, you know, we, 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 it, we, we're growing from, from a home base over into a fully fledged you know manufacturing facility so at this conversation that we're having right now it's at a time when we as a pivotal time of the business where we're transitioning from being what we would call handcrafters or handmade with love to officially being manufactured you know what is stamped as manufacturers of these products although um, because there isn't an industry that you'd say handcrafters or you know also to speak 
we do still fall under the, the umbrella of manufacturers. Um, soon we will be able to, you know, perhaps introduce you to our, um, you know, manufacturing space or facility that is um, for the, 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 the cosmetics range. But right now, um, which is quite common with many small businesses, we're sort of making do with what we have, making sure that we are aligned with the regulatory bodies that we are meant to be aligned with such that we can manufacture and supply from where we are growing from. Well, aside from the manufacturing industry being quite small, um, as one of the challenges you've, you've, you've rightly so mentioned, what other obstacles have you had to overcome to, um, you know, get your business off the ground? The first one that I would say in the transition from being the cottage industry and just hand making and selling from farmers markets was now like, okay, it's a business. I'm a business person. How do I run a business? You know, so that in itself was a challenge. You know, the little, you know, the nuances of, you know, the ins and outs of learning, which we tried to address uh, last year was our learning and growth year. I participate in a lot of acceleration programs yeah. um, tied to Botswana Innovation Hub. Um, De Beers with the Stanford Go to Market program, as well as the Tony Ilumelu Fund, uh, uh, we are recipients of that um, that funding, as well as um, acceleration program as well, be, to try to address the challenge which we thought we had um, at that time, as far as being okay. How do you run a business? To learn those sort of things. Today, in speaking to you now, our challenges are related to. Uh, are good challenges in the sense that they're growing pains, you know. Um, I, I mentioned earlier about our needing to move from, you know, sort of being a cottage industry or home-based uh, manufacturer, so to speak, into now a fully-fledged facility. So things such as distribution, we're looking at how do we broaden our distribution to include, you know, to, to a wider, to, to get our products in more people's hands outside of the places where we are currently selling them, right, or the place where currently selling our products from. And that in itself speaks to getting ourselves aligned with certain regulatory bodies, such that our products can be shelved at certain places. Um, so yeah, so those are, I mean, I would, I would single those two out. You know, the most, the closest to home right now is that we are growing and there's a need for us to be able to um, service this market that we, are, that, that we are now, that is responding more to the solution that we are seeing we offer at Nubian Seed. I am I'm very happy that you mentioned that you're in this for the long haul, which is not very common for a lot of young people. How have you managed to, you know, break away from the mindset that success has to happen instantly? All right, everyone knows those who are fully fledged in the startup and entrepreneur life knows that know that it's not it's not easy. And there are days when you will need to call a friend and ask them to console you a little bit because a deal that you've been dying for hasn't gone through or a payment isn't coming or you're still in a financial plight situation. But what keeps you going or what, what, what I would advise other, other business people or other entrepreneurs to think of in, 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 in keeping yourself there is having different definitions of success. You know, um, and, and that's true for me, certainly. I'm even speaking on something that is true. On any given day, you know, the, a successful thing for the business sometimes is just my having been able to send an email to somebody who I was supposed to have sent to yesterday. On other days, it's days when we get an opportunity to be interviewed, you know, on television, for example, where it's like, wow, somebody else is knowing what is noticing what it is that I'm doing. Um, on other days, yes, finally clinching a deal or a great sale or getting one more customer is a way of defining. So you need to, you need to give yourself, reward yourself with the little things. Before we bid you good night, let us remind young aspirant entrepreneurs of your wise words of Tudu Ezotebadi. Knock on every door and surely one will open to offer the support you need. We meet again next week with more issues of interest. Until then, have a pleasant evening. This program was brought to you by First National Bank of Botswana. FNB, how can we help you?